So here's how I stay organized. This is my kind of a cooler looking thing and I'll have a description or a link to this and it's from Amazon. This is both fireproof and waterproof. So I don't have to worry about any of my family history documentation getting ruined and has these holders so you can lift it. You know, you just open it up like so. Open it up and I keep all my files in there, see? basically like a filing cabinet except I know it won't get harmed again it's fireproof and waterproof so if a fire happens not worried waterproof not really worried because I got all this on Google Drive anyway like for example I got William Dent he's an ancestor so I pulled this out of his file see I wrote down where I got it from Maryland Archives Online volume 19 page 127 so I know where I got it and, it gives, and there's this cool thing on Maryland Online where it shows you a little uh, abstract of it. And I underline the important stuff so you know the year is 1694, you know the members of the house, and then I underline the ancestor, Captain William Denver, Charles County. So even if you don't know anything that's going on, you know that this person is related to you. He's a member of the house and happened in 1694. Maybe that'll give you some little leeway to go, oh, let me find out more about this person. Because if I didn't have them underlined, you would go, I don't know what any of this means. So you gotta kinda be a tour guide for whoever happens to look at this information. Got manila folders, still haven't used them all, from uh, Walgreens. Those can be helpful, cause that's all these are. Helps me stay organized and I'll name them, you know, like Rutherford Ancestry on a certain line I have. And if I have information, primary source documentation on a particular ancestor, like Robert Offley, you know, Gerard Falk, just anybody, I'll put the information in there. And I have one for dedicated to just family trees. So if anybody looks in this and they go, I don't know what to do. Like, let's say you had no idea what this was. And you're looking like, first thing I'm gonna do is not look at any of these names because I don't know who they are. And that just looks overwhelming. I mean, you just look at it and you're like, I'm gonna get anxiety attack, this is too much. Who would wanna deal with all this? So if you see family trees, I immediately show you, you know, print these off and I have who they are, you know, the people. So even if you don't know what's going on, you could go parents, grandparents, second grandparents. You could say like uh, Isham Randolph and Jane Rogers, you go, okay. And you look at those names and then you could try to find the names in here. So it's like here, and they have their little bios next to them sometimes. You know, and I got sources in the back. I mean, it's gonna take some time for the person to look for the individual name. I mean, if that's how you can find it, this is sort of like the index, I guess you could call it, but it shows you visually like how you fit into it. So you'd be like, oh, this is my fifth grade grandparent. Because if you looked at this, your first thought would be, I don't know who's my fifth grade grandparent, sixth grade grandparent, fourth, I don't know any of them. These are, I mean, this is meant for someone who's never looked at this before. But if you look at this, this gives you a visual of where to follow along with. You know, and I got different family lines. And then you can find the name. You find the name, and you find the documentation on that person. And that's all you gotta do.